Are you with my sneeze? Hello, Bob. <laughs> So you can see that it's, uh, you know, the, the cow skulls and the rib cages and... So this is the nature of how the hot pools are out here on Fly Ranch. You cannot see this until you're practically directly on top of it. So we're in Reno right now. We're at City Park seeing two previous Burning Man installation art installations. So we have Believe and of course the whales. We made it to Lake Tahoe. We are at our campground. Uh, we did a couple things in Nevada, kind of drove through Reno, um, but we are so exhausted. We really have been sleeping well the past two nights, so today we're actually early to camp. The past couple days we've been like trying to beat the sunlight in setting up our camp, so we're actually kind of early today. So I think today's gonna be pretty chill. Excitingly, we're not in a burn band, so we can have s'mores. Um, so we are going to set up camp. Um, and just kind of have like a relaxing evening because it'll be night three but it'll actually probably be the first good night of sleep we have fingers crossed my car is disgusting and it's covered in bug guts ew so we just finished organizing all of our stuff cleaned some dishes and now we are going to lake tahoe to hopefully maybe wash off a little bit it's been what three days and dust and dirt and grime and no shower for us we plan on buying a shower tomorrow at one of the campsites here after we go paddleboarding um 
but hopefully we can get a little cleaner tonight by checking out the lake. <laughs> Scrub clean. So we just went through all of our stuff, organized everything, and filled up our bear box with all the food that we're not gonna eat right now, toiletries, anything that is smelly. So if the bear wants to come and try and get it, they can't get it from our bear box. Hopefully he won't be drawn out here, so. <laughs> but better safe than a broken window. We went to the little market that's right across from our campsite and we got some Moscow mules. Look how cute this little sailor guy is. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, that's good. It's like really limey. Gingery, gingery, that's a Moscow mule. Brittany is sporting the radish shirt. Okay gang, okay gang, okay gang. Train seats is moving in, lots of chain. Got dams, nope, that's not a thing. My God. Okay gang, okay gang, okay gang. Camp Daddy on Instagram. <laughs> Tonight we get a mosquito candle and a fire. Mm. It's our first right. fire of the trip. It is. Wow. We're trying these new things. They were on a Shark Tank. Oh. And so you buy a pack of it. It's like $1.79. And it's good for four fires. That's why I only bought two because we're here for eight nights. Oh, okay. So you just pour it out. Start it on fire, build your wood around it. Okay. Supposedly you have a fire. Is this supposed to be a more controllable fire starter or like what's the like? I think it's just because it's light and packable. I think this would oh. be a great uh, resource for backpackers. Backpackers, yeah. Yes. Nice. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she done did it. More fun facts. These fire rocks are eco-friendly. You can use them on wet wood. They burn up to a thousand degrees. However, the less eco-friendly is the tarp that was attached to our thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> you said the easiest fire you've ever started, right? It is the easiest fire I've ever started. Hell yeah. I've always been good at fires, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember, Bayop? That was a good fire. That was a good fire. <laughs> 